Well, just about 512 on your Friday morning, made it to the end of the work week, and we had some really nice weather throughout the week. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've had a beautiful stretch Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and again today. Yes, yeah, good we're news. on tap for another beautiful day today. Mm -hmm. We'll see a little bit of some high clouds working in, but still some good sun. Yes, we need another nice day before about, we see the rain. How are we looking uh, for tomorrow? Tomorrow looking like a little bit rainy, so okay. the weekend unfortunately is looking a bit unsettled, but if you do have any outdoor plans today, definitely get out and enjoy the sunshine while you can because we are on tap for some rain as we head into the next couple of days. Right now, a chilly start to the morning. We're starting off in the 40s. Right now, 46 degrees in Springfield with winds coming in out of the northeast at 3 miles per hour and the dew point also sitting at 46. So as you're heading out, it is definitely a cool, crisp start to the day. Visibility has improved here in Springfield. We're up to 10 miles of visibility, but we are still dealing with a little bit of some patchy fog, especially as we head into the Berkshires this morning. Morning. Satellite and radar right now we are looking at mainly clear skies. We do have a few high thin clouds working in across our area and this is what we'll continue to see as we head through the rest of the day today. So your 24 showing mostly clear skies throughout the morning and then we'll start to see those high thin clouds working in by around 10 a.m. We'll see those temperatures getting up into the lower 60s by 10 and then as we head through the rest of the afternoon we will continue to become more we'll see more cloud cover working into our area. Highs this afternoon will be topping off in the lower 70s and we are going to be remaining low on in terms of dew points so it is going to feel like a very pleasant and fall like day today. High thin clouds will work in and have a tendency to lower and thicken as we head through the overnight hours, becoming mainly overcast as we head into the overnight and early Saturday morning. Temperatures tonight will fall down into the 50s and we are going to be on tap for a bit of an unsettled day for the weekend. And this is all because of this system right here, which is Tropical Cyclone 16. Right now, it looks like we have sustained winds of 50 miles per hour. It's starting to form across portions of uh, just off the coast of the southeast U.S. This is expected to strengthen into a tropical storm and make landfall by early tomorrow morning in portions of North Carolina and then continue to move off to the north and pass to the south of southern New England. So this will be bringing us some rain as well as some gusty breezes in cr across portions of southern New England for the weekend. Right now there are tropical storm warnings in effect for the North Carolina coast stretching all the way up to Virginia and into Maryland as there, those areas are expected to see some gusty breezes, high surf as well as the potential for some storm surge. So now taking a look at the future cast, this starts you off at 8 p.m. tonight. We're going to be looking at those high thin clouds working in, becoming a little bit more lower and thicker as we head through the overnight hours. And then that rain shield starting to come up as we head into the early morning hours tomorrow. Keep in mind, it's also going to be a little bit on the breezy side with winds coming in out of the east northeast, anywhere between about 10 to 20 miles per hour. We can occasionally see gusts of up to 30 miles per hour as well. Looking like Saturday, we're going to see mainly steady rain throughout the whole day, and we are going to be seeing the chance for some embedded downpours as well. And then as we head into Saturday night, we'll see a lull in activity before another round of showers comes in for your day on Sunday. Sunday looking like a little bit spottier in nature as compared to Saturday as well. So all said and done across portions across the two and a half day period, we could be looking to pick up anywhere between about one to two inches of rain here in Western Mass, looking like the highest totals across portions of the I-95 corridor and becoming less as you travel up towards the north. Now, beyond that, we are going to be looking to dry things out really nicely for your day on Tuesday. We could see a few more